Again, my name is Jacob Meisner. I'm the program director at Iowa Prep, and I'm also a coach here and been a clinician for a while. Nice to meet you if I haven't. Good parents, if you're comfortable, and I'll kind of help you demonstrate that. But if you want to add a little bit of resistance for some of these, um, that will help, I think, tremendously. The finishing moves and your kids to um, uh, get the full effect of a defender. So, okay, so let's get started. We're going to demo the first one here. I'm going to do all the demos today. So notice our setup here. I've got six feet out. Your head is in the net. Six steps out. Six adult steps out. I've got two chairs at a 45 degree angle, roughly. If you have anything around you, a cone, a piece of chalk, uh, anything small, just a marker, we're going to go around those suckers as we turn the corner and get downhill. Okay? So, um, if you guys can, a lawnmower, I don't care, but a human, anything right here, and these will kind of be our markers, we'll get into that in a second. But I'm going to demo everything in front of that marker on the right side. So let's get into it. Our first finishing move is going to be a standard right hand speed finish. Everybody's seen it. Okay, so we're going to go triple threat. We're going to get a running start. We're going to speed finish. I'm going to try to get as high as I can and go as fast as I can. We're going right hand, right arm, the whole bit. Standard speed finish. Okay. Again, the demo. Rip out. Go get as fast, as high as you can, and go. Now, when these guys do it, they're going to do circles. Okay, so this will be an inside circle. Into a speed finish. Or, I'll say an outside circle. But outside the chair, towards the sideline, towards the baseline, outside as you pump in. Okay, it may be confusing. I'll do my best with vocabulary. Most of them are going to be inside circles so we can get to our outside hand finish. Okay? We're going to go standard speed finish on both sides, gentlemen. One at a time, alternate. Inside circles. Again, the emphasis is speed, and I want you to get up as high as you can. Imagine somebody's chasing you. Here we go, fellas. Turn the corner, elevate, get up. John's going to wait while Nick finishes, and then John can go. Inside circle, left hand, left leg, speed finish. Good, that's all right. We, we're going to encourage Miss Labs all day long. These guys are going to be sweating and working. We're going to go to each side. John just did his second. Turn the corner, eyes up. Good, finish, speed finish. Elevate and get up. Good. Good, awesome. Couple teaching points. Bad coaching. What I want us to do on the inside circles or the outside circles is we're going to try to go as hard as we can and as fast as we can. So we're going and we're going to try to be as tight to the chair as possible. And then when we turn the corner right here, we want to get our head and eyes up on the ring. We want to identify where the basket is. We want to identify where open teammates are. We want to identify where defenders are. We've got to get our head and eyes up here. And this is a great spot to do it. Okay? And those guys did it without me coaching them. But that was bad coaching. Get your head and eyes up, explode and finish. That was the standard speed finish. Now we're going to go crossover speed finish. We're going to go outside circle. And we're going to cross over to the other side of the rim. So as we come here, we're going outside circle. We're going to go speed finish. Reach up, left hand, left foot. You can go front of the rim. Or if you can get all the way to the other side, you can board. That's fine. I don't care. So we're going standard speed, or excuse me, Crossover, speed finish. In here, reach out, elevate. Crossover, speed finish. Let's see how these guys do. Outside circle, head and eyes up, reach out and go. Beautiful. Head and eyes up, explode. Crossover, speed finish. Crossing over the front of the rim. Crossing over the rim line. Good, we got another rep here. Outside circle. Explode and finish. Look at how these guys are going. Game speed, getting their head and eyes up. Excellent. Good. As usual, as usual, if I'm going too fast or you can't hear me, please let me know. I will not take any offense. This is about your viewership and the best product we can put out for you. So we just had a standard speed finish, a cross over the front of the rim speed finish. Now we're going to go power. Okay, we got standard power here. I'll demo this just from the front. These will be inside. The standard power will be inside circle. We're going to reach out here. We're going to come to a jump shot with all 10 toes facing the baseline. We are not going to be facing the rim. So when I get here, I'm going to jump stop. And 
And notice my entire body is facing the baseline, not the rim. We want to shield our shoulders, turn our shoulders in. I'm at a complete stop. I'm not stopping and going forward. I'm stopped, and I'm going to jump and land in the exact same spot as if someone put paint underneath my shoes. And when I jump and land, you will only see one set of footprints. Boom, boom, elevate, and we're going standard power finish. But I'm going to explode, hit the brakes, my defender flying past me into the wall because he's out of control. I am not. Shield, I'm going to rip the ball to my outside ear, and I'm going to get up as high as I can, shielded with my shoulders to finish. This one is slow. The speed is fast. The power is slow. It's a different change of pace. You've got to have them both. From here, rip to the ear, and finish. Boys, Show them how it's done. Standard power finish inside circle. Shield, good. Notice how John paused at the bottom. That's exactly right. A lot of people don't have the patience. They want to go right up. We want to see that defender fly by. Turn that shoulder in. Good. 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 Inside circle. Power finish, standard power finish. Beautiful. Shield, pause, two feet, finish. Excellent. Moving right into it, we're going to go outside circle into a crossover power finish. So now we're going outside to inside. We're going to cross the front of the rim. This time I just want us to go right past the rim line, and our toes are pointed towards the short corner. And you can use the bank if you like it. We can go right over the front of the rim, but again, it's off two feet. I'm jumping and landing in the same spot. I hit the brakes. I'm shielding. I'm not here. Exposed. I'm here. We're going up. Left hand, outside hand, away from the trail defender. Crossover, power, finish. Boys, let it ride. Head and eyes up. Get to your spot. Hit it. Nice. Beautiful. Don't be afraid to let somebody hear your jump stop. Eyes up. Good. 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 Outside circle. Head and eyes up. Hit the brakes. See you later. Finish. Head and eyes up. See you later. Good. Last one. Outside circle. These guys are pros. I love it. Hit the brakes. Finish. Excellent. Okay. So your standard speed and your standard power, just right there. And you got the crossover going both directions. That is the training wheels. That is the intermediate. That's the advanced. Every single player ever, from a third grader to an NBA player, has to be tremendous at those. Okay. So if we get too advanced today, go back to your standard speed and your standard power, your crossover speed and your crossover power. you got to get excellent at that. Okay? Awesome. How are we doing? Good. We're going to keep it going. If you guys need a drink, you, you know the drill. You just go get one, okay? We're going to go crossover, power finish, but then we're going to step through, okay? So we're going to get to our spot, boom, and then these guys will show you. We're going to step through and show a counter move to that power crossover, crossover power move, okay? I'm not even going to demo that. These guys are going to show us. Fellas, we're going outside circle into a crossover power finish. We're going to show the ball, step through, jump off two feet and score it. Here we go. Boom. Step through. Good. Good. That's all right. Keep going hard. Stay tight when you're going hard. We'll show here. I can't guard both. Good. I cut them off. Boom. Step through and finish. Good. Let's go one more. Here, I'm here, I'm here. Boom. Step through. Good. Jump off two feet. Show the ball. Boom. Excellent. We got one more, fellas. Power. Nope. Step through. Beautiful. Jump off two feet. Good. Good. Let's take this time to grab a quick drink. Next one is going to be a reverse layup. A full reverse. A reverse layup. I'll demo that here. Pressure and a lot of heat. I'm going to get to the other side of the rim. 
and finish with my baseline hand using the backboard. Here's what it looks like. Okay? Baseline hand. Ripping it underneath the basket. My plant foot, my toe, is facing almost to the 45 degree, and I'm elevating it right up. Smoke the layup. Rip here. We want to jump straight up, not out. Jump straight up, outside hand. Why would we use one of these? Coach John, will you step in here in a demo position? Because if I'm a trail defender and I'm coming at an angle, I'm going to time John's finish, and I'm going to try to go meet him because I think he's going to do a speed layup. He thinks he's faster than me, but I'm going to turn on the Jets and I'm going to catch him. What John's going to do is see that and almost use the rim as protection. I can't go through the rim. So I'm going to try to go at the rim, and he's going to go underneath the rim. So we'll go day speed here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to come at an angle, and I think I'm going to go get the ball. He's going to get underneath the rim, and I have no chance. Here we go. He uses the reverse finish. Okay, so we're using the rim as protection. He's getting underneath the rim with his baseline hand using a reverse finish. All right, boys. Let's try it. Watch out for my ball. We're going reverse. These will be inside circles. Inside circles, reverse finish. Here we go. Get underneath the rim, straight up. Elevate straight up. Good. Get underneath the rim and jump straight up. We're not trying to jump out. That makes it a much tougher shot that we don't need. Nice finish, nice touch. Head nice up, underneath the basket, baseline hand, beautiful. Good, these fellas got one more. John's adding some swag to it. That's perfectly fine. Have some fun with it. John's going hard, so he's earned that. Look, both of these boys are going hard, so they've earned some flexibility. Get in there. Good. Okay, next, that was a, a reverse. Now we're going to do a half reverse. A half reverse. So now what we're going to do, instead of using our baseline hand, we're going to use our inside hand, our middle hand, we're going to finish like this. I like this one if you have a, a trail defender. He's right on your butt. You've got a slight step. He's going to try to go meet you at the front of the rim. You're going to take an extra step or um, explode out just a little bit more and try to finish on the other side of the rim with your inside hand. So it'll look like this. Oh, I thought I missed it. This is tough. Here we go. Rip on the rim still. Explode. Finish with your inside hand. That's a half reverse. Half reverse with a trail defender on you. So picture that trail defender. Here we go. Inside circle, explode under the rim, jump up and finish. Good, here we go. Head nice up. Good. Good. Inside circle, underneath, right hand finish over here. Look at that. Head nice up. Good. Good. Explode. Keep the keep these explosive right here. Good. One more rep. Good. Good. Awesome. So I like the full reverse when someone's coming at an angle, like I demonstrated, and I like the half reverse if you've got someone right behind you. Okay? But I think the main key to the reverses is that. If you get good with both hands, which that is the goal, do not misunderstand me. You gotta work on right hand finishes and left hand finishes. Once you're good with both, you wanna always get to your strong hand. So when you go reverse, I'm gonna go full reverse, I'm gonna try to go right hand because I'm right handed. And if I go to the left, I'm still gonna try to, um, excuse me, if I go, if I'm coming this way, I'm gonna go half reverse here to stay on my right hand, okay? Because I have a better chance of making a layup with my right hand, 100 times out of 100. So if I've got the option, I'm always going to go right hand. If I don't, then I've got to be good with the left. Please don't misunderstand those two concepts. You've got to work on both. I'm not saying that. But if you can get to your strong hand, get to your strong hand. All right, moving on. What do we got next? Get a drink if you need it. Okay, boys. All right, so this is kind of the cutoff. I would say that those first six are standard, intermediate, um, universal. Okay, now we're going to get a little more advanced. Do the best you can to hang, but if you can't, Remember, standard speed, 
standard power and reverse. Rep those like crazy, okay? But in the meantime, we're gonna go more advanced. Fellas, we got a stretch finish. Stretch finish. Follow demo that. A stretch finish is used to reach out, cover ground if someone's trailing you. It allows you to get the ball away from the defender using your length, using a stretch to finish, okay? So when these guys demo it, they're gonna be gathering the basketball and taking off from a little further out. So then they're gonna reach out with one hand, visualizing the defender behind them, reach out and stretch and finish, okay? So it'll look like this. This will be tough, stay close. Okay, I'm gonna hit the back up. I'm gonna back up. Reach out, float, and finish. Okay, notice I'm holding the ball away from my imaginary defender that's right on my butt. Okay, I'm reaching out with the hand, stretch, finish away from the trail defender. Okay, fellas, are we ready? Let's try it. Pick the ball up right after the chair. So you're gonna inside circle. Get your head and eyes up and almost try to gather it shortly after you pick up the chair. It may be difficult. Gather, reach out, left hand finish. Picture a defender right on your butt. Reach out, get the ball away from him. Good. Reach out and finish. Good. Good, look at that, that was a big reach, I love that. I don't even care that Coach Nick missed that because you can really, if you rewind it on YouTube, you can really go out and see him reach and get away from the fence. Next one, we got Veer Finish, Veer Finish. V-E-E-R, Veer Finish. We're gonna go inside circle, and we're going to imagine that there is a defender parallel to you now. Not behind you, but parallel as you're coming down the home stretch here. So when I turn the corner here, I'm going to take my inside leg or the leg that's closest to the defender, and I'm gonna kind of step in front of him and make contact. I'm gonna veer, crazy drivers, veer into my defender's lane and kind of get him on my butt, and then I'm gonna explode out towards the basket and create that separation and get away from him. Veer, glasses are hurting my head. A veer finish. So again, around the corner, Parallel defender, I don't think I can beat him with the speed finish. I'm gonna give him a little booty bump here, close the space, and maybe even try a stretch finish there. Okay? Parallel defender, step in front of him with a veer finish move. Fellas, let's give it a try here. Yeah, right. Turn corner, head nice up, veer, good. I think Coach John can even veer a little bit more. This is a change of pace. Step in, look at that. Nice. Good. Parallel defender, good. Inside circle, veer into your defender's path. We got one more rep each way. Contact, but it's a change of pace. You, you're going fast, you kind of slow, get into them, and then re explode, change your space, and change your speed, explode to space, and finish at the rim. Okay, how is everybody doing? Good. These guys are good. Remember, get a drink if you need one. The next one is inside hand finish. So we're going inside hand finish. So in our standard speed, we went outside hand, outside foot, connected on a string. How many of us have heard that? Beautiful. Same concept here, but now we're going to go inside hand, inside foot. Okay, we're going inside circle, reaching out, inside hand, inside foot. We're going inside circle, inside hand, inside foot. I hope I can get to the rim a little faster. And it changes up your timing. All the shot blockers, as they're approaching you, they're getting used to that or they're getting ready for the Left, right, go up, and, and I'm going to try to challenge it. But if you throw in a right, or excuse me, a left, right, that may throw off your cadence, your timing. And you see Kyrie Irving do this, or Tony Parker. They're not above the rim dunking like Westbrook, so they have to change their timing. 
it's like a changeup in, in baseball or softball where it just throws off the timing of the shot blocker slightly. Okay, so we're going inside hand finish. Inside hand finish. Let's see it, boys. Inside circle. Elevate and get up. Boom. Beautiful. Inside hand. Change your timing, change your speed. Get up. Good. Good. That was even in the off foot. That's real advanced. Good. Explode. Change your speed. Change your timing. Good. We got one more rep here, and then we'll grab a drink. Inside hand finish. Inside hand finish. Good. Beautiful. Let's grab a drink, everybody. We're going to go high off the glass finish. High off the glass finish. So imagine a help side defender, a big 6'8", boy or girl coming over to come get your shot. We want to go high off the glass. We're not going to go through them. We'll talk about changing direction later. We're going to go high up and over that outstretched arm with touch and um, with um, arc. A lot of arc and a lot of touch. You see Steph Curry all the time, man. Beautiful high arcing. Nobody can get up there and get it. Beautiful high arcing shot high off the glass. Let's give it a shot here. Again, this will be inside circle, and we're going to try to, and we're going to exaggerate it. This may be ugly or whatever, but I personally, when I demo, I'm going to try to get as high as I can off the glass while trying to make the shot, okay? I'm going to go high off the glass, inside circle, high off the glass finish. Oh! That was, that was underhand. You can go underhand or overhand. I like underhand. High off the glass, high as you can. Underhand or overhand. If you're comfortable with both, do both. Add variety. If you're only comfortable with one, then do that one. Underhand, high off the glass, overhand, right? High off the glass. Here we go, fellas. Eyes up. Who's got the touch? Nice. Who can get it up higher and finish? Ooh, I think that was about the same. We'll go round one, a tie. Head and eyes up. Good. These guys are jumping off one foot. That's another talking point. We're going off one foot here. It's almost a speed finish, high off the glass. Look at that, that was a quick release. Trying to get the touch up there. Good, look at that. Big fellow's got touch, I love it. High off the glass, good. Good, excellent. Okay, so we just talked about how to avoid a shot blocker. There's one idea, right? We're going up and over him because we've worked on that touch. We've worked on what that feels like to throw it up really high and use the glass and be crafty. Now we're going to work on how to avoid a charge. How to avoid a charge or a standing still defender. Um, so it could be a set charge or it could be someone who's going to jump with you and block your shot. So you'll avoid a charge and you'll avoid a block with these next two moves. The first one is going to be a pro hop. This is how you avoid a charge off of two feet. Pro hop. Okay. We're going to go, I believe it'll be an inside circle. Yeah, we're going to go inside circle. And we're going to pro hop to the middle of the floor. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, the key here, especially with the layout of how we're doing these drills with the circle, is you're going to turn the corner, inside circle, and you want to at least get one bounce after your face. So get out one bounce, and on your second bounce, you're going to almost... Um, use it as a propeller or like a jet pack. When you bounce it, it's going to jolt you up and shift you sideways. So I'll show you in a basketball context and then maybe I'll come up here and that may help. We're doing a pro hop here, a pro hop. Around the corner. Oh, notice that I'm moving lateral. Imagine a defender standing right here. I'm not gonna jump straight through him, that's a charge. We're going to move laterally, sideways, completely sideways, create that separation. We're going to leave him there, and I'm going to go into my finish off of pro hop. So I'll do one more time here. Inside circle, I'm going to go one bounce after this to help your rhythm, and then on that second bounce, you're going to bounce it into the ground, and it's going to pull, almost propel you. Pull. Pull. Okay? We're going around here. Sideways, and then we're going to go up and finish. Notice I'm not facing, re-exposing myself to that defender who might want to try to get back into play. My toes are towards the short corner. I'm keeping my butt to him. 
and I'm just going right up to this three foot finish. Also notice, yes, thank you. Also notice that my feet are really explosive and I'm, my body's really explosive, but as Coach Nix just waved to me, he's absolutely right, you wanna rip the ball through. So when you crop, rip the ball through, cross your chest, right underneath your chin, rip it to your ear, we're gonna go up and finish. I'll demo it once and then we'll let these guys go here. Pro hop, pro hop middle. Pro hop middle, let's try it. Go. Inside circle and on that second dribble. One, two, beautiful. Sideways, 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 sideways. Now we're going to go to everybody's favorite, the Euro step. Again, you avoid charges this way and you throw off shot blockers this way. It's a change of direction move, but instead of like the pro hop where you land on two, the Euro is off one. Okay, so I'll do my best to demonstrate here and instruct, and then these guys will bring it home. Again, we're going inside circle. Inside circle, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our outside foot, so in this case my right foot, and we're going to visualize, actually Coach Dell, will you step in here? We're going to visualize our defender's body and feet, and I'm going to put my right foot, like I'm stepping right in between his legs, and I'm going to push off to my left foot. And I'm going up with the shot, it's going to feel awkward, but trust me, that's the way it goes. Harden makes it look easy, you just got to practice it. So I'm stepping here with my right foot, and I'm reaching out sideways. Notice I am not going towards the rim at all. Okay, there's not much of a difference between this shot and this shot, but there is a difference in how far away I can get from him. So I'm going lateral, I'm not going forward. So again, my right foot, I'm going to step, reach out, left hand jump, or left hand finish, left hand, excuse me, left foot jump, left hand finish. I'll go full speed here without a defender, and then these guys will bring it home. Euro step. Step, step, left hand. Step, step, left hand. Right foot, left foot in this case. One foot to one foot, up with the left hand finish. Here we go. A lateral side step. Sideways, boom, boom, beautiful. Visualize the defender's legs, step in between them with the right, reach out. Good, that's all right, let's see with the left. So now we're gonna go outside foot, left, right. Beautiful, Coach John. Inside circle, avoid the charge, good. might feel awkward as far as your release. You're jumping off a different foot and all that stuff. As you get into these more advanced finishes, it's going to be awkward. It's going to feel weird. Okay, that's the beauty of these advanced finishes. You're always changing your launch point, your hand underneath, different foot. Having all of that as your options and not traveling is what makes these advanced finishers so dynamic. Okay, so if that feels awkward, don't worry about it. Keep repping that out. And then if you want to get really advanced, instead of stepping in between the defender's legs and pushing out, James Harden does this great. He'll actually step out and then really over. And he's covering a ton of ground. I like this one because it's like I'm playing chicken. Who? And then kind of freezes them, and then I sidestep and finish. Okay, moving on. I see the basket. I can get there. I'm going to explode through. But I know that these guys, without fouling, people got really – have really good quick hands they're going to reach in and try to poke the ball free as I come through here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go football carry okay so as I go through here I'll show you how to not travel with it but the, but the understanding of the move is visualize these defenders here I see an opening I'm going to go through and I'm going to come through and then get it out of my hands and finish okay but that's the visual when you want to do this football move 
You see a gap here? Okay, and now I'll show you as these guys step off, I'll demo what it looks like with a finish, okay? It's difficult because you have to gather and get it out of your hands in two steps, right, without traveling. Here's what it looks like. This is a football finish. Here we go. See an opening, get through it, protect the basketball. And a lot of people don't like this one because you can get tied up, right? People can just stick a hand in there and tie you up. Again, you want to visualize, you don't want to use this move with someone right in front of you, right? You almost see a gap, you think you can get there, but you know you're going to get hit on the wrist and hand, and how often does that stuff not get called? Rip it through, gather, one, two, count your steps, get the ball out of your hands and finish. Football finish, boys, let's try it out. Coach. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I have not been doing a good job, parents, of helping you interject with some of that light resistance. I apologize. This would be a great one. Just stand on the side, I'll show you. We're just going to stand on the side, give them a clear path, but you're just going to reach in and try to grab that ball, and they're going to completely protect it and then get it out of their hands without traveling. Thank you, Coach Smith. Here we go. and then get it out. One, two, not a travel, beautiful, awesome. Okay, moving right along. The next one is often called the Rajon Rondo, the Rondo. For those of you who don't know who that NBA player is, you can call it the back pivot. But you should Google search or YouTube Rajon Rondo. He's a very uh, excellent footwork crafty player, okay? But this is the Rajon Rondo or the back pivot. All right, so we're gonna go back to that inside hand that inside hand finish, but it's going to be a fake. So as you attack, you want to get that inside foot forward, and you're going to show the ball. Now my right foot is my pivot foot because I've reached out and stopped. Balance. We're going to show the ball, and then we're going to back pivot, and we're going to shoot a jump hook. And what we're visualizing is that defender is trailing you, and he's going to come try to beat you at the rim and pin it, and you hit the brakes. Excuse me, you show the ball, hit the brakes, back pivot, and you're still taking a five foot shot. Show it, back pivot, coach Nick Bob, post move, jump hook. Here's what a rondo looks like at full speed here. Inside, circle, show it, back pivot on the two feet, left hand jump hook. This way, inside circle, right foot step, right foot show, back pivot, right foot. Excuse me, right hand jump up. Notice on my reverse, I'm not spinning all the way around and facing the back. I'm turning kind of feet to where your marker is over there. I'm shielding again, and it's just a jump hook over the shoulder. If you watch Coach Nick Bob's post video, this will look not as good, but the fundamentals are the same. So we're going the rondo slash back pivot finishing move. Here we go, boys. Inside foot, show it, back pivot, two foot jump hook, flawless. Show it, back pivot, balance, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Show it, good. Good, beautiful. Good. We got one more rep, boys. Back kick with the Rondo. Inside foot, show it. Not there. That is. Good. Beautiful. All right, we're going to add a little something to that. So now, we've got the Rondo into the jump hook. And let's say you're facing just a tremendous defender. So you don't get him with the Rondo. And he's down and he's solid. And he can test this jump hook, then we're going to go to our step through, which will look familiar. We're just taking it from at the beginning of the video. We're going to show it, and then we're going to step through. We're going to take our left foot, 
that's on the top of the lane line here, and we're going to just step right to the bottom. We're going to jump off two feet with a step to it. Are we ready, boys? We're going right into it. You guys will demo better than I just talked about. We're going Rajon Rondo. Jump hook's not there. Step through off of two feet. That's a really nice move. If you take anything from this, because I don't care how athletic you are or how big you are, if you add fakes and you have proper footwork, you're really hard to guard. Show it. He's down. Oh, we got him. Nice job. Oh, it happens, folks. It happens. Everybody misses layups. Show it. Show it. Good. Look, these guys are working hard, man. It's getting to crunch time. We're almost finished. You know, one more round. Oh, you want some? Is this the last one, or you just want another crack at it? <laughs> these boys want another crack at it. They're competing out here. Show it. Show it. Beautiful. And we got one more here in honor of Kobe. This is called the Kobe move, okay? So we're going to build on to it. And this is the Kobe version of it. This is as advanced as it gets. So again, we're going Rondo. We're showing it. Show the jump hook, and instead of stepping through, you're going to whip that back leg around and kind of spin move and jump off two feet. Kobe had fantastic footwork, some of the best I've ever seen, and this is the Kobe move. I remember him doing this all the time. So this is the Rajon Rondo, jump hook, not there, spin into the Kobe. You guys got this in your arsenal? Let's see. Let's see what you got here. Show it. Show it with that leg. Beautiful. Beautiful. Show it. Show it. Beautiful. Yes. Good. Good. Stay low, stay low, stay low. Notice how these guys are not getting up out of their stance. I didn't mention that earlier. Thankfully, these guys are really good at demoing. They're going to keep their head level low the whole time. Head low, head low, head low. Beautiful. Good, show him the rondo, not there. Jump hook, not there. Kobe, always there. Show it, show it, footwork off two. I love that move. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to the floater. The floater, okay, this is basically a power finish. So remember our power finish, it's off two, but it's gonna be from eight to 10 feet away. It's gonna be much further away. And you're gonna have high arc, and it's gonna be a quick release. This is again kind of a mixture of a power finish and a high finish, a high uh, off the glass finish. We're combining those two, and then you're further away from the basket. Again, it completely disarms a big time jumper shot blocker. Okay, so this is gonna be an outside circle, outside circle, so that we can attack middle. We're gonna go outside circle, we're gonna turn the corner, get our head eyes up, we're gonna attack you can kind of see the volleyball line here, that's what we have. But again, it's about three steps out from if your head's in the net. Three steps out right from the rim line, that's where you're attacking. You're going to get here, you're going to go off two, and your feet are going to be pointed towards the short corner. We have to assume that our defender is trailing, so we don't want to be completely square and allow them to come in. So butt is to them, toes to the short corner area. We're going to do a left hand floater, kind of a push shot. High arc, quick release up and over that shot blocker who might come across the help, but he doesn't come towards you. He's just going to go right here and jump up. We're going to go right up and over. So outside circle, get here. That even needs to be higher. These guys, I don't do it justice. These guys will. Turn the corner, get to your spot, off two, up high. That's the one right there. High arc, oh, that fast. High arc, quick release. Up, exaggerated, even if this is ugly and it may be like my first one was. High, really high, and work on what that what it feels like to get that touch right and drop it right in there. Let's see what your guys' float game is like. Off of two, beautiful. Notice how Coach John came to a complete stop. He's gonna avoid the charge. This is different than a runner. The runner, you become much more susceptible to a charge, and that's running off of one foot and going, your momentum's going towards the rim. Notice these guys hit the brakes, up and over. And let's really see some arc here, fellas, even if it's ugly. Up high over that seven footer. Yo, look at that. Oh, I love it. Hit the brakes, toes to the short corner. <laughs> I 
Excellent. Let's get a drink, everybody. Next one's gonna be a spin move. A spin move, a spin move. This will be an outside circle. We'll attack middle and come back towards the baseline. All right. So, we're going outside circle, and we're gonna attack that same area that we were going to, excuse me, our, our body's gonna be facing that same area that we attacked for the floater, kind of three feet out, dead center. And I'm gonna get one to two bounces past the chair, and then I'm going to spin move, rip, right down the lane right here. Maybe you don't have that at home, that's fine. But just imagine, we are not going to spin move towards the middle, right? That's where all the traffic is. We're going to visualize our defender has gotten in front of us and cut off our direct line to the basket. We can't get the crossover speed finish. That's fine. He's going to step right in front of me. I see him there. I'm going to rip the ball. I'm on my toes. Toe, not heel. I'm going to rip the ball and go into a finish right down the lane line, and it's going to look like a right-hand stretch finish. All right? I'm going to try one full speed here, and then we'll let the professionals rep it out. Spin move, spin move, finish. Here we go. Spin move, finish. Outside circle, attack middle. I get cut off. Drip down the lane line. Spin and finish. Spin and finish. We want a violent spin. Body's low. Rip it right down the lane line. Listen, if you travel here early, that's fine, but only if you are really pushing your speed and your tempo. You're trying to rip that ball through and explode towards the rim. So you're going middle, you get cut off, you spin back the way you came. Outside circle, boys, spin moves. Let's see what you got. I believe they call this the, uh, put them in the spin cycle. I've heard that once or twice. Going right down the lane line. How are our violent pounds doing? Are our head and eyes up after the chair? Are we elevating as high as we can get on all of these finishes? Remember, we're going to try to go right down the lane line. We get cut off. Rip it. I love that stab dribble. Notice how John, Coach John did that pound and rip it into that spin move. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Last one. Last one. This one, I think it's the toughest because it tests the athleticism. Double clutch. The double clutch finish. Double clutch. So here's what we're going to do. The posture is going to be the same as your power finish, where you're going to shield. You're not going to turn and face the basket. So if you guys are the basket, I'm not going to turn and face you. I'm going to shield. Remember our power finishes? That's going to be the same thing. We're going to jump straight up with our shoulder closed off, and we're going to shoot the ball on our way down. All right, so I will try one. Actually, I'll defend, and we'll have Coach John or Coach Nick. Who's got the double clutch? Who's got the double clutch? Yeah, you got it. So here's what we're gonna. I'm just gonna add a little bit of token, and I'm going to make sure that Coach Nick does not show me too much of his chest, because even though he's at least four inches taller than me, if he comes in here and his shoulders are turned towards me. I'm going to go try to make a play on the ball. If he closes off, now I've got to go through him. We call those and ones. We like those. Okay? So Coach Nick is going to be facing the basket. He's going to jump straight up. And I'm going to do my best to contest and make the shot at the top of his jump difficult. But I'm going to come down or put my hands down because I think I've done my job. He's going to hang in the air, show us that sweet hang time. And on his way down, he's going to try to get it up off the board. So it's a double clutch. A double pump finish. Let's try it. Here we go. And there is no way for me, the only way he misses that is if it's him. I cannot affect that shot. And he's got to get his eyes through. Is that what happened? Yeah, so these guys, these guys are going to try a double clutch to close us off. Who can hang in the air? Who can keep their shoulders shielded? We're going to shoot it on the way. This is tough. You sh if you're very comfortable doing this. Try to hang on to it longer and get it up off the glass. Double clutch and bring us home, fellas. Head and eyes up. Get up there, John. Double clutch. Look at that. Head and eyes up. Shield it. Hang it. That's perfect. These guys are doing it right now. Double clutch. Good. Good. Again, remember, we want to jump straight up and straight down. We want to avoid charges. Good. 
where you want to keep that perfect angle on the backboard. These guys got one more rep each, and they both got to be finishes. Good. Head nice up, shield it, jump, hang on to it. Good. One more rep each here, boys. Good. Excellent. Okay. You thought I was done. I always do this, though. We're going to do the ball handling drill 100. It's 25 reps for four sets, and you're going to time yourself. So if you've got a watch or something to time yourself, remember our foundation, our triple threat. You can start in the right hand or the left hand, doesn't matter. I start in the right because I'm right-handed. The first rep is 25 pound dribbles outside the knee, knee high. As fast as you got. Boom, 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 boom. Head and eyes up. 25. As soon as you get done with 25, count your head. No cheating. You go left hand pounds outside the knee, knee high. Boom, boom, boom. 25, 25. And then you've got 25 pound crossovers. Count your crossovers. One, two, three. Bad coach. Outside the knee, below the knee. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then the last one, your posture doesn't change, even though it'll want to. You go pound behind, underneath your butt. Try not to rock with it. All arms outside your body, slightly. Pound behind, count your behinds. So 25 pounds, right hand, 25 left. 25 pound cross, 25 pound behind. And then check your score. Start at zero, counting up, and you want to stop the clock as quick as possible. Again, I saw a college player do this, 43 seconds. That's the fastest I've ever seen it. College level player. Try to remember your score and post your score. Post your old score and your new score. If you don't have an old score, post your new score. Ready, set, go. And nice up. Outside the knee, knee high. Lose it somewhere, go chase it down and go look, go right where you left off. Doesn't matter, keep going. 23, 24, 25 seconds of gone. 30 seconds. Pound cross, pound behind. 25 of everything. 35 seconds. Outside your body. Knee high. 40 seconds. There's the 43 mark. 45. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, a minute. Again, thank you guys so much for being with us. Um, stay safe. Have a great weekend. We're back at it on Monday with Coach John. Look for that schedule on Sunday night. We'll post the Monday, Thursday schedule. Um, and then, again, please, if you have any documentation, TN, hashtag TNT5 driveway work. Thank you, guys.